This is the new 2 plus 1 spring. That is the old 2 springs, genuine from Ford, which is more than useless. And as you can see, large bush on the front, which is a Transit Mark 8. These will not fit Transit Mark 7s. This is a Transit Mark 7 front spring hanger. Measures about eight and a half centimeters. This is a Transit Mark 8 front spring hanger. That measures nine and a half centimeters, which is one centimeter bigger than the Mark 7. So Mark 7 and Mark 8 springs are not interchangeable. Remove the brake pad warning light wire. Remove the top and bottom caliper bolts. One and two. Pull the caliper out, leaving the pads in place and thread the brake pad sensor wire through the caliper. Let the caliper dangle out of the way. Remove the ABS sensor wire. This allows access to the spring hanger bolt. The wire just clips in. Push this out of the way. Do not damage it. Do not bend it. Do not crimp it. Using a deep reach 21mm socket, remove all four nuts from the U-bolts. Using the biggest hammer you can find, tap the U-box upwards. It doesn't matter if you damage the thread because you've... Use a hammer, loosen the U-bolt and then put it upwards. To remove the front spring hanger, use a deep reach 24mm socket on the outside and a 21mm socket on the inside. Remove the rear spring hanger bolt. It's a 21mm nut on the inside and an 18mm nut on the outside and the bolt should just undo and pull out. Ah! Lift the spring off the central aligning pin and remove it in a forward direction. When refitting the spring with new bolts make sure you tighten evenly left to right front to rear. Keep going around in a square or a circle tightening the bolts. When fitting the rear spring hanger, use the jack to jack it up to the correct position and then a long bar just so that you can line up the bolt. It's that easy. Do not tighten the front spring hanger bolt. Do not tighten the rear spring hanger bolt until the truck is lowered and at rest. Only then can you tighten the spring bushes. Once the two plus one springs are on, the truck sits a little bit higher, perhaps about one and a half, two inches 